Hi folks, Mr. Mega Man Fan here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. I was hoping that today's PC Engine files was going to be a video about how it was easy to put the PC Engine CD-ROM core on the analog pocket. But I think sometimes it's just as valuable to share failures as successes. And this was not a success. So watch this video, see if you can learn from my mistakes, and maybe even you'll have some advice on things I can try because in the end, it didn't go the way I expected it to. Here's the video. So my first mistake when going through this process was I used the version of Pocket Updater that I already had on my micro SD card, thinking that it would just get all of the assets for the core. But then when I went through the folders on my actual micro SD card, I couldn't find the PC Engine CD core that had been referred to in videos by Mad Little Pixel, Casa Verde, Cherry Ninja, and others. There should have been a PCE CD folder here, and I could not find one. I looked in the PC Engine folder itself, could not find one. So you need to go to the GitHub, Matt Pinella Runs, I'll link to it in the description of this video. And you need to download the most recent version of the Pocket Updater. Whether you're on Mac, PC, Linux, or whatever, get the most up-to-date version to get the core. I wish that had been the end of my problems, but it was only the beginning. I did finally manage to get the correct version of the Pocket Updater. I dragged it over to my micro SD card, and I ran the updater once again. And... I thought this would solve all the problems, and it did not. First though, let's unzip this file. Get the pocket updater launched, and it's checking for updates. A new version is available, and it's downloading it. And then you will see it go through a whole lot of different cores as it puts them one by one on the micro SD card. So I answer yes, and Yes, I want to update everything, so I'll hit zero. I don't know what this whole Welcome to Flavortown thing is about. I saw this in Mad Little Pixels video as well. I realize that's a thing that Guy Fieri says on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, but what that has to do with updating your cores, no idea. Maybe Matt Pinella is just a really big fan of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Anyway, here we go. And it's skipping anything that's already up to date. And it's extracting anything that's not up to date. And it's installing anything that needs to be installed, including the PC Engine CD core. So, we are making some progress here. Not as much as I wanted in the end, but we're getting somewhere because it is updating a whole bunch of things. Every now and then it's giving a bad checksum error. I really don't know what that's about. So, there are a lot of arcade cores that have been updated in this latest batch from Matt Pinella. You can use any pocket updater you want. I just find Matt Pinella is the one that works for me. So let's go back into the assets again. Do we have the PC Engine CD core? Yes, we do. There's a common folder. So now in theory, I just need to copy my PC Engine CD games into that common folder, and then I can launch them using the core, but the file types I used were incorrect. You need PC Engine CD games or TurboGrafx CD games that only have one bin and one queue. This particular core, the way it's been designed, cannot handle multiple binary files you need a merged binary and this may not be obvious in the first couple of folders that i copied over that just has one queue so it looks okay that just has one queue so it looks okay but none of these work and most particularly you'll see it in castlevania rondo of blood which has a huge number of binary files that's not going to work at all to make matters worse, I also had the wrong kind of formatting on my micro SD card. I had it formatted to FAT32, and apparently this core is very persnickety and only works with XFAT. 
So I had to reformat the card. I had to get the correct kind of PC Engine CD-ROM files that were only one bin and one queue each. And I ran the updater again because you need to do that to generate the specific files that it runs. It'll look in the common folder for each CD game folder that you have and it'll create a JSON or JSON folder. You'll see at the top there, it says it created JSONs for Akamaju, for Cotton, and for Terraforming. So now, theoretically, I should have all of those in the PC Engine CD. And there they are. So you would think, now that I've done everything right, the card's formatted correctly, the right type of files have been generated by the pocket updater, and the cores are up to date, you should think everything would work at this point, right? Well, on multiple attempts to launch these games with the PC Engine CD core, I got absolutely nowhere. Now it looks like it's working. I select the folder and then it directs me to pick a BIOS and it installs the TurboGrafx Super CD System 3 BIOS by default. So I select that. And then it boots up and says press run like a normal PC Engine or Turbo Graphics would. But I push run and it goes to the menu to play an audio CD. And it does this every time, no matter which BIOS I used. I tried the US version 2.0 Turbo Graphics CD BIOS and it didn't help. Tried the Super System 3 again and it didn't work. It doesn't make any difference which CD BIOS I use. It always acts like it wants to play a CD instead of play the game. Doesn't matter which game I select, whether it's US region or Japan region. This is not a region lock system, so that kind of thing doesn't make any difference. But some games might require an updated CD BIOS to run properly. So it's good to have the options 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and so on. But nothing ever works no matter what i select when i select the super cd system card or whatever bios i select it just goes back to that menu like i'm going to play a cd instead of play a game I even tried remapping the run button to one of my four face buttons instead of the uh right most of the bottom three buttons that didn't make a difference I thought maybe it was like getting some sort of key confusion in which button it was using. Like it was running it before it ran it somehow. Like it was misinterpreting the inputs and skipping running the CD and going straight to playing it like an audio CD. Nothing. I really can't figure out what I'm doing wrong here. I, I'm stumped. And I reached out to the people who made videos about this core. And I haven't heard anything back as of the filming of this video. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's a functional core because it does boot up, it does run. And it does try to do the things that a Turbo Duo or a PC Engine with CD attachment or a TurboGrafx-16 with the CD attachment would do. It just, it never progresses beyond this. And I've gone into the core settings and looked at all of these different options and messed with them and reset them and changed them. And it just doesn't change anything. Every single time I run this core, I start it, I pick a game, it directs me to pick a BIOS. It doesn't give me any option to run it without picking a BIOS. You have to pick one. It just won't cooperate and launch a game. So if the developer of this core or any of the people who did get it working have any suggestions after watching this video, I would happily take them. But no matter what BIOS I try, no matter what settings I try, it does this.